Most people believe you have to wait 20 minutes for a sniffer egg to hatch. But actually, by using sticky piston at the perfect speed, you can force it to break instantly. I'm busting clickbait Minecraft tags to see if they're fact or cap. Starting with... Players may have just found the new weirdest bug in all of the new Minecraft 1.20 update. What is by it? By simply using a trident and a channeling book, combining an anvil together, and throwing them at a hanging sign and okay. then having one of your friends or yourself walk under the sign with a full inventory, you'll instantly get electrocuted over and over by lightning. No. Just like a lightning rod. Hey yo, literally an infinite lightning farm. Man's just casually whipped out a hanging sign and turned it into a torture machine. Now, I'm pretty certain from the Anvil menu, he was using Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Then he combined it with a channeling one book onto his trident. Will that even stick there? Oh, yo, listen, I can literally hear the trident. It's like mashing the side multiple times. For a channeling trident to work, it has to at least be raining because what it does is it brings down the lightning from the sky like Thor, right? Chill in here, my dude, don't... Of course I got a baby one. What is my luck? Let's try a full-size one here, guys. And now we're going to throw the trident at the sign. Here goes nothing. Hey, yo! That was brutal! In vanilla Minecraft, you only get 10 hearts, and most people think you cannot go over that limit. Well, but I found uh, a game breaking glitch by which you can get hundreds of hearts in survival Minecraft. No so, way! One notch apple that will give you 8 extra hearts, which yeah, will be that's in normal. Few seconds. But if you eat one normal golden apple just after that and wait 2 minutes, you will get 6 permanent hearts. What? And the best part is, it has no limits, meaning repeating this with one stack of notch apples will give 384 permanent hearts. <gasps> Do you all think this is real? Nah, let me know in the comments below. No way. We got our enchanted ones and our regular golden apples. I munch on the enchanted one first and then immediately munch on the regular one. I ate the second one, but that literally didn't give me any extra hearts. Did it give me extra effects? No, the, the effects are the same. It literally just cancelled and got rid of my second golden apple, unless it actually does give me permanent hearts. I don't know. I won't believe it till we see it. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, here goes nothing, and we still have the hearts. We don't have the effect, we still have the hearts. We lost two, but we kept six. And then they said we could just eat another enchanted apple on top of this, and they would stack. Oh my gosh. Wait, I want to see just how far we can push this. Nah, this is broken. This is actually broken, y'all. I could come all the way up in the sky here, drop down. I don't think I'm even going to get a scratch. That didn't even hurt. I'm invincible. You can actually tame creepers in Bedrock Edition so that they'll follow you around and never explode. Man, it has to be capping. It's part 39, the creeper tamer. Creepers are like someone I know, but I can't finish that joke because of an NDA I was forced to sign. This was a build I based on a mechanic found by It's Me James. Just show me how to do it, man. So get on with it. Build a nether portal and place a dispenser and powdered snow behind it. Light it and activate the dispenser. And if you don't get something that like this, is move cursed. the dispenser one block over to break the other portal block. And underneath the portal, build a five deep hole that you place a piston and slime block into and line the edges with non-stickable blocks. Then get a creeper into that hole without letting him go into the portal and name tag it. Then next to the hole, get a calibrated skulk sensor and lead a signal strength of six into it. I use a lectern with a 30-page signed book on page Page 12 oh with my a gosh. comparator leading into the skull. This is so complicated. Three ticks of repeaters leading from that into the piston below. So three on full ticks and one on one tick. Then light the creeper with flint and steel and he'll explode as he's entering the portal. And about half the time, he'll disappear before exploding. And then on the other end of the portal, he will be there completely tamed, following you around like he's trying to explode, but he never really? will. This seems too good to be true. We're gonna know if this myth has any truth whatsoever based on whether or not this nether portal actually glitches out. Powdered snow. That's all it takes to break this thing. Light up the portal and they used a redstone torch, but the lever should be fine, right? Did that? What? Honestly, that alone is a hack, bro. This short's crazy. And then they destroyed the portal and built some wacky machine, which I, I don't remember at all. I need to watch this thing again. So the sticky piston had a slime block on top of it, surrounded by white glazed terracotta. And they used a minecart to push the creeper into position. Bruh. This in survival would be terrifying. I'd be too scared this thing's gonna blow up. Okay, quick item in. Then they did a bunch of redstone bajibidi. We named the creeper. Don't know why you have to do that. Maybe it's so they don't despawn as it goes through the portal into that. I don't know, but this really confused me. They got a book with just empty pages up to page 30 and signed. I don't know how this works. 
works. But uh, we're just gonna call this subscribe, which is totally not what you guys should do. Actually, please, guys, please subscribe. All right, I need to feed my family. They put this into the lectern and changed it to like page six. No, 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 it was page 12. Guys, if this is not right, this is about to blow up in my face. We got a flint and steel to force the creeper to ignite. Please work, please work, please work. Pig! You ruined everything! <laughs> the pig has been taken care of. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Let's see if this works. Come on in. I think we got it. There's no explosion. There's no creeper. Let's head in and find out, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here goes nothing, bro. A pet creeper? Oh, my. The creeper pushed me back in the portal, but I definitely saw it there. And now, for the moment of truth, subscribe. Will you kill me? Hello? He's not blowing up. He follows me around, but he's not blowing up. Every illegal bug. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. That, that, that. That's not a bug. That's a Minecraft feature, bro. Okay, bedrock with skulk. So, uh, huh, huh, what? And wooden pickaxe with silk touch. He just mined up bedrock. He just mined up bedrock. Wait, could this actually be real? Hold up. And then he's using iron blocks. At uh, no, there's only one way to build an iron golem and that's using blocks. You cannot craft a spawn egg. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess there's a small chance it could be real. I've never tried it before. No, 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 no. This is cavern, this cavern. The double ender chest is not real in Minecraft, no matter what glitches you see. I busted 36 1.20 myths in Minecraft and actually found out that the hanging signs can be used to keep mobs out of what? the bay. How? Similar to how mobs can't walk across carpet if there's a string under okay, it, that's mobs true. can't enter an area if there's a hanging sign in their path. I also Dude, found out that that's if you're better than doors. Animal, the warden actually can't attack you, which is extremely overpowered. That's broken. Okay, I'm switching into survival. Please don't kill me, Mr. Warden. Quick, put down a camel. Protect me. Wait, I think it's working. I think it's working. <laughs> you can't touch me, L -L loser. <laughs> I reckon this is definitely true, guys. Look at it. Hold up. Maybe it needs to be standing on a block. If we get onto a camel here, switch into survival. Come on, try and try and attack me. Oh, now we got it. We're so tall, he can't touch me. Okay, but what about the sonic boom, though? Wait, is he going to try? Okay, so he's sonic boom, but I took no damage. This is the hack. Mr. Camel, we are invincible! These are the most overpowered tricks in Minecraft. If you hold down W in your spacebar and crouch right when you land, it will cancel all the fall damage. Unfortunately, it's too overpowered and only- Who needs a water bucket? Road. For the next trick, you'll need two buckets of snow and leather boots. Place okay. them right on top of each other and climb to the top. Now use one of the empty buckets to grab the bottom snow block, and you can climb upwards in- Wait, how is he not sinking? These don't save you in the nether, but a bucket of snow does, and is probably one of the most overpowered items in the nether. It can stop you from taking fall damage, set out fires, and you can even use it to save blocks just like the last- What? How is snow so good? I believe I can fly. I believe I can- Apparently, I don't believe it. I hit W and shift. Maybe I didn't do it at the right time. We can try again. Here we go, and- Bruh. Wait. I did it, but I didn't just hit W. I crouched. I don't know. Do that in slow motion. If that's real, then surely this padded snow thing is real. Huh? Oh, I have to put the leather boots on. I am a dumb bum. I've got farts for brains. Okay, ready? So we stand on it. Then we can put a pad of snow there. And then what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, if you crouch, you sink through. So don't crouch. Get right to the edge. Pick it up and... Oh, my God. You can get so fast in this as well. And we can use this sideways too, he said. Wait, on the... Wait, how do you... Oh, no! Wait, wait. So if we go right to the side... How do we... Oh, yeah, we can. Now, what do we have here? Uh, an eggs? Bro, Mans has eggs for days, dude. I can already guess what he has for breakfast. Definitely scrambled there. How is he turning the sniffer eggs into different colors? Wait, what? They're just transforming. Oh, no. Look at his hotbar. He's got... Are those dyes? I think so. The hotbar's so tidy, I can't see. Oh, wait, look at the clouds. They're moving really quickly. I think he's time-lapsing. Is he... He's waiting for them to hatch. Don't tell me that when you dye the egg, it dyes the sniffer too. You can get different colored sniffers. Bro, this would change everything. It would be so cute. I want a blue sniffer for EY strength. Okay, come on. Okay, normal green and... <laughs> what? I'm so excited, yo. Bro, bro, I cannot wait for this. Okay, we've got a blue dye. Obviously, that has to be the first one and... Hold on, what? Didn't... I'm clicking. 
nothing's happening. Oh, I got clickbaited. This right here is just about Minecraft's easiest duplication ever. Big shout out to JC Plays. This better not be fake like the last one. But that's where I saw it first. The step number one, get to the nether. After you've made it in the nether, move somewhere safe and place a dirt block down. On top of that dirt block, place a big drip leaf block. Then place Why? a lever in front of it and turn that lever up. <laughs> what are those? Now for the setup, you could build as many tiles as it as you'd like. I'm gonna build six. On top of the big drip leaf with the lever in front of it turned on, place any kind of Dude, gravity block. What is wrong with those blocks? Gravel it could literally be an anvil. Doesn't matter. It might get a little bit loud. Now it's time to leave the nether. I'm gonna flip into survival to show you that this works. After you leave the nether, go back. Whoa. If you did everything perfectly Whoa. correctly, every single one Dude. of your blocks should have just duplicated. That's infinite iron. Step one, chuck down our dirt. Step two, the drip leaves, and then any block you like, okay? Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, we have to have a lever and turn it on. That's what keeps the drip leaf in place. Okay, I think I understand. Let's try again. Okay, I think it's working. Chuck on the gravel. Yeah, those blocks going cray cray. Exactly. Okay, no. So it has to be a block that falls. And then now we're going to switch into survival because he only switched into survival when he came back into the nether. So I don't know. I feel like there's something sus going on there. Like a mogo sus. All right, jump back in through the portal. Imagine how many anvils you can get. And you don't have to mine for sand anymore. You can just dupe it like this. Okay, and it worked. Look, double sand, double gravel. Wait, it even duplicated it multiple times. And we got our anvil. You can't see it, but there's invisible pistons here. And the way we no. did that is using a bug that's in the bedrock. And How's it moving? Since if you play on this version, you can make a piston invisible by breaking it while it's being powered by a repeating redstone clock. And then when you add back in the blocks, that's big brain. Block, it can still function like a regular sticky piston, <laughs> which I'll admit will make for the coolest hidden base of the game. No kidding. I love Skip the Tutorial, except he didn't actually show us how it works. He just went, here's a bunch of complex redstone. Trust me, bro. Yeah, no, I have trust issues. So I've watched that video like 20 times to try and figure out the redstone and realized there is a way easier way to do this. Just place down an observer with its face towards the piston and then place another observer in between the two of them and the piston will start moving back and forth. And then all you need to do is break, not the front of the piston, but like the arm itself. So you want to line yourself like up about here and then you need to break it as it's extending. Ready? And... Did that work? No, wait, I can't hear it anymore. That didn't work. Is it fake? Hold on, let's try again. Ready and... I can hear the piston, it's still going. Okay, so it doesn't actually still work. Let's place a block here. The block's moving! Wait, let's destroy the block. And if I get rid of those observers and then place a some redstone going... So the piston's like invisible there, right? I place a pressure plate and now we'll put a block here. If I stand on the pressure plate and then stand off... <laughs> All right, what are we doing with this world border here, guys? We're placing down some ice and a piston, and we're pushing pushing the ice into the world border. Why exactly? We're going again, pushing two blocks of ice at the same block. Oh, well, that is a very glitched block. That should never happen in Minecraft right now, guys. Okay, we destroy one of them, and then we can place a campfire inside of it. Bruh, 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 bruh. Wait, what? Okay, so we're putting two glass blocks inside of each other. How does that even work? And now we can place a chest in Excuse me, what is this mutiny? We destroyed that, and then now we can... No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Now to test this, we're gonna need a world border, and I ain't going to the ends of the Minecraft Earth to get one, so let's just use some commands here, guys. First off, we need to type world border center on our position. Bang, then we need our world border set, and we wanna just, we'll go 64 here, guys. Boom, there we go. Now we got this, you can see, I cannot walk through this no matter how hard I try. Okay, that should work. Let's try this. This is what it was in the video here, guys. And then we'll try that again. I really want to see if this works. Okay, bang, and then activate that. All right, there we go. We've got our joint up ice block. We destroy one of them. And then can we... We can place the fireplace! <laughs> no way! What? Okay, this is this is actually awesome. This is dope. I, had, I was genuinely thinking this was going to be clickbait. But no, it's not. Let's go ahead and shove two glass blocks. Break one. Now we can place our chest. What is this? What is this cursed Minecraft, guys? What is this? Okay, now we need a quartz slab. Bang, place one of those. Place a second one of those. Destroy one. Put our magma block in. Curse blocks. Curse blocks in Minecraft, guys. What is this? How to make a split nether portal in Minecraft Bedrock 1.17. Excuse me, what? Okay, no, this has to be clickbait, guys. We've already seen tons of TikToks on my channel where they've, like, broken portals, they picked up portal blocks, and we all know every time it's fake, you guys. But we'll watch this anyways. Okay, so you need to make any size portal, okay? Pretty straightforward. You can make it as big or as small as you want. And then what are we doing here with this dispenser? Uh, wait, we're putting powdered snow in the dispenser, activating it. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. We can get a strip 
portal? No, 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 that has to be fake. That's click. That has to be clickbait. Okay, let's go prove this is false. Just another day on the Earwise Stream channel exposing clickbait Minecraft creators. Guys, if you want to stand up against clickbait, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we're about to expose this sucker here, guys. Let's so we can make it any size. We'll chuck in the obsidian dispenser. Put our powdered snow in there. Leave it on the side. Let's go ahead. Light this bad boy up. And but I am. Yeah, that, that did not work. I knew it. Actually, I already can see the comments right now, guys. You guys are going to be like, ew, I stream you didn't make it long enough. You guys always said it do exactly the same way. So it doesn't work. So I'll make it longer, guys. Just like it's like in the video, even though it said any size. And I think I actually put that dispenser a little bit too high. One, two, dispenser. Place in that padded snow bucket. Lever on the side. Break those and light it up. Bam. And boom. Whoa. It worked! Oh my goodness, that is embarrassing, it actually worked! Oh, all me talking about how this is clickbait. Wow, that, that is really embarrassing. It actually split the nether portal. So it, it, it's real, it's not clickbait, guys. Wow, um, well this is, a, this is very embarrassing. Just, can you guys subscribe anyways? Minecraft bedrock working zipline? You can make a zipline in Minecraft? This has to be clickbait, guys. There's no way this is real. Who made this? Some TikToker named Hackers Minecraft. Well, we're about to see whether they hacked my brain by clickbaiting me or not. Okay, so they put some water in there, a trap door, and then just a giant line of fences. That's not, how is that a zipline? Okay, he's swimming in here, he swims under and, what? No, 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 that has to be fa- If that is real, that is the coolest thing ever. The first thing was he said it only works in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So we've switched Minecraft versions here, guys, and we're gonna grab ourselves a water bucket, some oak fences, and a trap door, because that's apparently all you need in order to make an awesome zip line. So what, he dug down a few blocks here, guys, and then what, dug out through the ground, he made like a little tunnel, just like that, I think it was, and then what, he had the trap door there, the water flowed down underneath, and then from there, he just had an absolute ton of oak fences. All right, here we go. Boot! How, how far are we back in the zipline, guys? Okay, look, that should be far enough for us to test whether or not it really does work. Moment of truth, guys. If this works, I'm gonna be so excited. If this, leave a like right now, because I just want this to work. Leave a like, guys. All right, into the water. Let's... Okay, we need to go into the swimming animation, I think. It, okay, I'm, I'm stuffing it up. Okay, swim. All right, here we go. Yeah! It actually works! Look at that, guys! No way! I'm actually ziplining right now. It, like, sticks you in, like, the swimming animation, glitches you out. Oh, I stuffed up. Laza, do you like turtles? I love turtles. So really? Do I. Today, we're gonna end up killing them. So, what? we have some what? turtle eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we have some turtle eggs here. And uh -huh. you're gonna tell me if this is going to break the turtle egg, or will it survive? We have the million tridents. Okay. I think it will break. I agree, break Laza. Egg? That thing is done. It, will bre it no. didn't break the egg. What about a million arrows? Me? The arrows will survive as well. Uh, Minecraft logic. Okay, yeah, I got that one. What about actual lava? I think it's lava proof. You have no, a high I don't hopes for I turtle eggs, Please man. don't tell You're me that's right. lava. Oh my god, is this, oh my god, it's burning everything. Stop! What about five anvils? Five anvils, that, that, that's pushing the limit. Exactly, that should break destroy it? the egg. I think it's gonna break. What? Oh my god! You were wrong. And what about the final one? What is this? It's just, it's just a turtle egg. There's nothing about it. Minecraft is logic, there guys. See, Blaza, you forgot the heaviest thing of all. <laughs> You're dumpy. Not <laughs> mine, Blaza. Yours. What? <laughs> no. And please break it! This is stupid. This is stupid! It's literally sticking inside the egg! Oh, I hate Minecraft logic. Okay, but I'm certain that I have a way we can break this egg. We're gonna place a dispenser facing downwards. We're gonna rapid fire arrows onto that thing. I think we're going to need to have a repeater system going. We'll do a redstone a clock going back and forth here, guys. That should definitely work. And then we'll get a lever and ba bam. All right, cool. Okay, let's chuck in our arrows here, guys. Bang, 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 bang. You've gotta be kidding. You've got to be kidding me! How? How are you surviving this? Stupid egg. All right, and this lava, I'm assuming it's just gonna be lava proof. Yeah, are you kidding me? It literally bends. The turtle egg bends the lava to its will. What is this reality? We're gonna add even more anvils right now. There we go, look at all of that. Come on, destroy the turtle egg. Destroy it! This is dumb, this is dumb. Look, if arrows can't destroy it, if lava can't, if anvils can't, surely the power of lightning will. And lightning! Okay, all right. Casually, the, the turtle egg can just survive lightning. It can survive tridents. It can survive lightning. Stop. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally falling on the turtle egg, and it's not destroy. I can't even break this thing. How is it invincible? A Minecraft epic moment. One pixel can save you. Wait, what? What is this on about? Wait, no. 
Is this what I think it is? No, bro, yo! That pixel ain't saving you from anything. If you jump, your legs are broken. Okay, literally right now, his ankles are shattered. He is going to die. There is no hope. <gasps> what? He didn't even take one heart of damage. No way can this one itsy bitsy pixel save you from certain death. Now, basically, they place two chests on the corner here so this little pixel can sneak its head out. But if I'm falling to my death here, guys, the rest of my body is literally still hitting the ground. Literally not any of my body is touching that pixel. I reckon they turn a fall damage or something. There's no way this actually works. But you know what? I'll shut up till it's proven. So let's go ahead and we'll just, you know, put our chest going up into the sky. Maybe, okay, we'll go maybe 50 blocks up. Okay, that should do it, guys. That is certain death normally. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right. And then look up into the sky. Slash the stack. 50. Bang. All right. Look at that, guys. We're going to go all the way up here. Now, normally, th this there's no way anybody would ever survive this fall in Minecraft. Or at least they would take some pretty decent damage. Let's give this a go. All right. I, I hope I die. I never thought I would say that, but here I am. All right. Ready, guys? And fall. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding me. For those of you who have made automatic farms, I'm sure you know just how intimidating I this know, looks. I know, right? That uses so I mean, much all, bone meal. if you don't meal. have a skeleton farm, then getting bone meal is not exactly an easy exactly. task. Exactly. Especially in large bulks. But even though you might be seeing the particle effects happen, uh -huh. don't worry. The bone meal is not actually getting used unless there's a no. plant next to it. You're Otherwise, kidding, Otherwise, it's right? just a false flag. Why you would don't the particles be there? I don't believe that. So let's chuck down a dispenser and run a little bit of an experiment. We're going to run out some redstone, and then we're going to have a redstone clock. One, two, three, four repeaters back to back with redstone in the corners. We'll activate that by placing a redstone torch and breaking it really quickly. Boom, there we go. So as you guys can see, it's activating the dispenser over and over again. Now we're going to put some dirt in the front, grab out our hoe, hoe that down, and we're going to... We've got 64 bone meal I'm gonna put in the dispenser. And you can see, look at that. The particles are going. It's shooting at the bone meal, at least in my opinion. And, okay, we'll leave it a bit and we'll sh I'll show you here, guys, that that bone meal will have gone down. Three, two, one. Yo, what? It still says 64? It's actually true. Wait, we put down our wheat seeds and there it goes. It uses it up. Okay, and so we've got 61 bone meal in there. We'll leave it for a bit longer. We'll even destroy the crops. No! It only uses bone meal when they're across there. Oh my goodness! I had no idea about this. It's like a little secret. Even though the particles are going, you still get to keep the bone meal. Nice! Yo! How do you get a chest that is that big? That is insane! Alright, I want that. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, my brain! Is that an illusion? It was all an optical illusion, but I think I know how you could do this so you could prank your friends with this exact same trick. Basically, we need to build a chessboard style thing using white and gray concrete. So grab your white concrete, and we're gonna go one, two, three by three blocks like so and fill that in. Then you basically wanna duplicate this here, this exact same square using gray concrete on either side that is touching the white concrete square. And basically continue this pattern just a few times so it fills up your screen. So you should get a pattern that looks a little bit like this. But the bigger you make it, the more convincing it will be. Then we're going to place a chest on the left side here on this gray concrete right in the center. And then look to your right and we're going to place one right in the center here. So you need to build up one, two, three, four blocks, place the chest on top. And then it's just a matter of finding the exact right position. This is the trickiest bit. But if you can line this up before you show your friends, they will be so confuzzled, guys. All right. <laughs> Did it, guys! This chest looks absolutely ginormous next to the other two, and it is all just an optical illusion. The minute we move, you can see this is what is actually happening. So something I discovered while playing uh -huh. Minecraft is that if you place down a shulker and all throw right. an infant pot at it, what? it just looks like that, which <laughs> is kind of weird. I mean, I guess what you know what's those? inside of a shulker now. That's what? pretty cool. All right, here we go. We got a splash potion of invisibility. There is our shulker. Well, bam! No way! What? This is a legit and real secret of Minecraft, and it's really easy to do. I genuinely thought that was like a texture pack or a mod or something. What? This is so weird, and this is a weird floating spinning head. Oh my goodness, this looks like something out of a horror movie. Please don't, please don't kill the mystical floating head. Please, please save me. Three Minecraft facts you didn't know. All right, what do we got? One, dye can change the color of campfires. Wait, what? He just threw the lime dye into the campfire and it changed into a green campfire? That's awesome! I always knew you could change the color of water in a cauldron by using dye, but never a campfire flame. That is awesome! I'm gonna have rainbow campfires. I literally only thought you could get red and blue flames. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bunch of different colors. Dye here. Green, blue, red, a bit of orange. Uh, why do we need orange? The campfire's already orange. I'm so dumb. White, oh, white fire would look awesome. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, you don't click on it. You gotta throw it in. Excuse me? Wait, what? That did... Wait, wait, wait. Did something go wrong? Wait, hold up. 
Why is it not? Guys, it's not work. What? Wait, what if I use the light blue die? No? Wait. Oh, the red die? The white? You've got to be kidding. Are you telling me this is clickbait? Are we serious? Are you guys serious right now? No. <laughs> this is... I can't believe I found the... I was so excited. Oh, I'm getting my revenge. We are exposing this clickbait. This is the last thing I do. I'll tell you what these scumbags did. They literally just retextured soul fires to be green. Those lazy buggers, guys. They did absolutely nothing but retexture the soul fire into green and then use a little bit of command magic. I'm, st oh, I'm just so mad, guys. Basically, they placed down at the campfire like so. Then off to the side, hidden away, probably under the ground. They had a repeating, always active command bug that was testing for uh, the item Lime Die, as you guys can see. Then we had another command block above here, which was a chain command block. And this set blocks onto these coordinates here, guys, a solar campfire. So basically, it tests Lime Die on this block. And if it tests for it, it'll turn it into a soul campfire. Then we're going to have another chain on the top here, guys, which is then going to kill all items. So it kills that Lime Die and isn't just left on the top. Now, you guys can see, we'll walk up to this block, chalk in our Lime Die. Okay, well, this is, this is back. Oh, my. I stuffed up the coordinates. This is so embarrassing. Okay, no, no, no. Hold up. I've got this. All right, there we go. Take two. We go ahead. Now we chuck our Lime Die on and boom, it turns into our green fireplace. I'm just, I'm just so sad, guys, that all along this was just commands and, and, and texture pack. Why well, can't Microsoft add this to the game? The cheapest X-ray glitch to get diamonds on your survival world. Well, I'll be the judge of that. We're breaking the blocks above our head and then place it, gravel on ourselves. Why? We move to the side, place another one, and then, wait a minute. Oh, yo, we're like halfway into the gravel. And then you use the spyglass to zoom into ores. That is big brain. So I'm not sure if this is clickbait or not, but let's go ahead. We need to break out two blocks above our head Drop one lot of gravel on us. Bang, just like that. So we're inside the gravel. Now they moved slightly to the edge here. So let's go ahead and crouch and move just to the side. So we're like halfway in, halfway out of the gravel. Now I'm going to switch into survival mode because, I mean, if this doesn't work in survival, then what's the point? Let's go ahead and drop down a second gravel in our face. So now we're like halfway inside the gravel. Wait a minute. Oh, this could work. This is so hard. I can literally see the x-ray working there, guys. I just can't seem to get the angle right. There we go. Yes. Okay. So it's much harder than the video makes out, but check it out. We actually get x-ray, but here is the kicker. You can use a spyglass to zoom in and boom. You can see the iron just over there. This is the most effective way you could find ores in Minecraft. Here's how to kill the wither in under a minute using little resources. What? First Excuse find an empty location me? without any wanted mobs. Uh, then all you've got to do is tower up using 10 stone blocks, create ten the soul sand blocks? t-shape and place two wither skulls. Damage, Next you man. must place a block in the middle of the soul sand uh -huh. and summon the wither. Once you've done House that, tower up 41 blocks, 41? place the trap door like Why so, destroy number? this top block and shift uh -huh. till you reach the corner of this block. Now okay. place dripstone under the trap door and open and close it so Wait, the, the dripstone falls on the wither. Repeat this about 10 times until the wither's dead. What? First, we need an area with almost no mobs. Now, I'm not seeing any sheep, pigs, cows, or chickens around, so I reckon this is the ideal spot. Now, what we're going to do is tower up 10 blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put a soul sand here, and coming off this, we build the wither shape going 1, 2, and 3. Then, we need to put down two wither skulls and place down our cobblestone block there, right in the center, and spawn in the wither. 3, 2, 1, bang. All right, now we need to go up 41 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 40. 41. All right, we're up 41. We place down this trap door here. Break out that block. Oh, wait, no, we did that wrong. It needs to be on the bottom half of this top block. All right, trap door. Just, no, go in the right spot. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's one pixel up just like that. And now we need to come around to the side, place a drill stone over here, and drop it on the wither's head. All right, that drop. Did it do damage? Yo, guys, look. The wither's health actually went down. Okay, wait, repeat this. Sneak around to the end. you got to be crouching to get right on the edge here, guys. Place down a dripstone. Bang, drop it. Close it. Onto the side here. Bang, place down the dripstone. Guys, look at the wither's health right now. This might actually be the easiest way for you to get a wither star in Minecraft. Final one right now. Here we go. Drop it down. There it is. The final dripstone to kill the wither. I can't believe it. Oh, and yo, like half of these dripstones are still here. Okay, I'm never going to fight a wither the same way again, guys. Breaking Minecraft 101. What? With a bunch of portal blocks? I mean, you can only get them using commands, but it's not exactly illegal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait, a flint and steel. Bro, you can't light that. You need obsidian to make a portal, not portal blocks. That's just stupid. <gasps> Whoa, backwards portal. 
I immediately want to say this is clickbait. But at the same time, I've never actually tried it. Like, why would you? I don't think any of you guys have tried this either. So I need to see for myself before I get to my final verdict. But like, seriously, what dimension would this even take you to? The anti-nether... Is that even a thing? No, it, it can't be, guys. All right, this is actually really tricky. Uh, okay, and bam, and... Whoop. Wait, how are we supposed to place any more blocks with that going through the portal? Wait, I think we can change the command here, guys. Okay, we'll go negative two. Okay, that, that is definitely not in the right spot. We need to destroy that. Oh, wait. It's, you can't even see them from above. That is so wacky, guys. All right, try that again. Good, we got that position. And negative three. I think that should be all of them. Nope, we're still missing one. Still missing one. And our final portal block there. Okay, this is really finicky, guys. Because if you destroy the portal, it destroys everything. This looks so strange, guys. All right, let's place down our block here. And, okay. This hasn't broken yet. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Bang! Yeah, okay, well, it was supposed to work, guys. I was going to scam all of you with my command block, and somehow I, I still stuffed it up. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, it's definitely fake, like, bad guy. I knew straight away this was not real, and as you see, I, I was trying to troll you, and I got the obsidian right, but clearly, uh, clearly I did not get the portal right. It's fake. It's fake, like, bad guys. We have exposed them, and we will not stand for clickbait on this channel. Let's move on to a hack that actually works. In Minecraft 1.17, uh -huh. if you're ever mining and find lapis lazuli, there's what? a guaranteed way to find diamonds. Excuse me, So, huh? press F3 Ow. and face north. Uh-huh. When you've done this, you break four blocks in that okay, direction. One, two, and then three, dig straight four. down. Wait, no, about that's against the rules of Minecraft, the time, There will be though. diamonds Wait. there. What? Let me know if this worked for you. It's that easy? Cannot believe this secret, guys. Okay, we found some lapis here. Boom! There we go. We're supposed to dig up around it here, guys. Okay, we've got... Okay, we're looking at only two, two blocks of lapis. This is the lamest lapis deposit ever. Basically, we bring up the F3 menu by hitting F3 on our keyboard, and then what? Okay, so we're facing south, east, north. We gotta go here, and then from here we gotta go one, two, three, and four, and then dig straight down, guys. I'm breaking every rule of Minecraft. Digging straight down. You what? You're telling me this is a real, legit secret? Oh my goodness, guys! Literally two lapis just led us nine diamonds. I am speech. I am shocked right now. What? I see lapis all the time. Are you telling me? Okay, here's some lapis. Let's try it again. North. I want to see. Does it work every single time, or is it only a chance? One, two, three, four, and then we dig straight down. Are there any diamonds here? Okay, there doesn't seem to be diamonds here, guys. So it doesn't work 100% of the time. He actually said it only worked 90. That's in the south direction, but maybe it's in the north direction of an. There's diamonds here. Only 90% of the time it's in the north direction, but that doesn't mean the other 10% is probably in all the other directions, guys. So from now on, every time you see lapis, just dig around everywhere because there's guaranteed to be diamonds and you do not want to miss out. How to get infinite emeralds in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah you heard mode? me right. This is a completely legitimate way to get infinite emeralds. First, what? you're going to need to find a librarian villager that has a bookshelf trade and a regular book trade. All right, Once okay. you have this, you'll then need to get a zombie and let Whoa, the zombie no, attack the villager. Shot. Now that okay. you have a zombie villager, you can cure it using a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. Splash potion Repeat weakness, this golden process apple. again right, until the villager is trading one emerald for a bookshelf and one book for an emerald. Yo, now, so use an emerald to buy a bookshelf. Uh -huh. Place the bookshelf on the ground and break it and to it get gives three you regular books. Three books. Go back to the villager and trade and the books for more emeralds. Three, you can, just you can do this process as many times as you want, but the villager will have to restock its items frequently. But look what happened. I just turned one emerald into 13 emeralds in 12 books. Not too shabby. What? And we're gonna build ourselves exactly what they had in the video. It was like a little set going on. But basically, we have this, and then we need a lectern here so our villager can become a librarian. So we'll put our villager here. Become a librarian, please. Lectern right next to it. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes. No. Dang it. And wait, he didn't even become a librarian. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll put our lectern there. Librarian, please. Look, I'll put, I'll put lots of lock tech. Look, I'm just asking you, please, can you just be a librarian? We've got our librarian here. Let's grab ourselves the zombie villager. And the zombie villager needs to kill it. So we'll set the time to midnight here. There we go. All right, and we'll put in our zombie villager. We need some torches. There we go. And bang. All right, we need him to kill it. Go! Go, zombie! Yes! Any one of you. Just one of you kill. Thank you! All right, he's killed now. So we're going to go ahead. We'll get rid of those zombies here. Now we need to cure him using a golden apple, was it? And a splash potion of weakness i think it was weakness okay oh i really hope i got this right so splash potion of weakness and then a golden apple is that to it oh there we go guys a zombie villager is being healed here we go okay i think how long does this take exactly how is this a long process 
So, it turns out it takes about four minutes for your zombie villager to heal. And boom, look, he's all back and well and good at health. And I also got very bored during that time, and so I built him a little house. And also make sure he can't escape this time. So now if we go ahead and check out his trades, you can see we've got three emeralds for a bookshelf and one book for an emerald. We need to get that from three emeralds to one emerald. And to do that, according to the video, we had to get him to uh, die to a zombie again. So let's grab another zombie spawn egg. Chuck that in. All right. Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? You killed- you killed my villager, and you didn't turn him into a zombie villager. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! No, 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 I am done! I have tried this with like 500 billion villagers, not really, I tried this with five villagers, but still it was a lot. I think it might actually be real, but I honestly don't know, and I can't test it because everything just keeps going wrong. So you know what? I'll leave this up to you guys, I think it is real, because we were able to get halfway, but unfortunately, I can't confirm. Now this viral TikTok was made by Minecraft Universe. It looks like some sort of redstone contraption. Oh, a secret chest. <gasps> Hidden behind a bookshelf. Yo, that's so cool. How does this work? Actually, it's the cover up here, but okay, there's a pressure plate. Oh, and you hide it with a painting and then you throw an item on the pressure plate and it reveals your secret chest. Unlike the last video, the redstone for this actually made sense in my brain. So I get the feeling this is definitely a real viral hack. We have the pistons out here and then below here we have ourselves two chests. We grab ourselves those bookshelves. We can cover up the rest of this like so. And then this split was a space pressure plate. We've got to cover up the back here with a bookshelf. Cover left, right, and side. This should give us a single painting. All right, and bang. <gasps> It looks legit. The question is, is it legit? Let's go ahead, throw a bit of redstone on. Oh, and it reveals in your secret chest. And then you walk up to this painting, you pick up the item, and then your secret chest becomes hidden again. Yo, that is the coolest secret chest I've ever seen. I need this in my Minecraft world. Cool commands you can do at Minecraft. Okay, all right, I'm listening. It looks like he's in bedrock edition here, guys. Part 52. Okay, and it's an execute command on fireworks. You turn it on, and now what? You use a firework. <gasps> What? That is destructive on a whole new... I need, I need this. Let's grab ourselves a beautiful command block. We'll chuck that down. We open this up. This was a repeat. It was always active. And the command, it was an execute uh, at a type equals firework, I think, underscore rocket. And then uh, tilde, 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 summon. Oh, let's go up the screen. Summon TNT. I think that was right. We'll give it a go here, guys. We'll put the lever on here. This needs to be need redstone, actually. Turn that on. Firework. That didn't work. What did I do wrong? Wait, what? Syntax error. Type equals firework rocket. Unexpected. Oh, fireworks rocket? It's got an S on the end of it? Okay, wait. Fireworks rocket. There we go. Okay, and... <laughs> Yo! Oh my... Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need tons of these. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh my god! The damage! Yo! Now that is what I call a fireworks display. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Oh, now he's going to explode. What? Did he just stop the creeper from exploding? I'm going to be a titsy bit salty. Actually, very salty because I've been playing Minecraft Frog my whole entire life. If I don't want a creeper to explode, I just run away or I try and kill it. I did not know you could use gunpowder to stop a creeper from exploding, guys. Like, there, I just had absolutely no idea. We've got to test this out for ourselves here because if so, this will make fighting creepers a whole lot easier and just basically change the game. All right, so I've got my creeper spawn egg here, guys. We'll chuck him in a cave. All right, just like that. All right, we'll put him all the way down there. Here we go, guys. Switch it to survival. Let's run up to our creeper. And just as he's about to explode, all right, we're going to put gunpowder on. Here we go. Gunpowder, gunpowder. Why is it on? No! What? It's clickbait. It's clickbait. It's on a trash gun. I got scammed. Ah. Oh. Why did no one tell me this before? Tell you what? That you can dye water and cauldrons? Okay, I knew that, guys. I've done a video on it. Wait. You can dye leather horse armor and put it on your horses? You can dress up your horses however you want. Okay, I gotta do this, guys. It's time to make my horse look fine. Okay, so the first part of this trick is pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know about it. Basically, you can grab a cauldron, fill it up with water, and then by using a bunch of different dyes, you can dye that water in whatever color you want. So we're gonna grab some white, a little bit of red, light blue, lime, and you know what? We'll get a bit of pink action going on as well. Now, one important thing to note, guys, is this does only work on Bedrock Edition. As you can see, white water, red water, blue, green, and pink, and then, of course, you can just have your regular watercolor as well. Main reason this feature is in the game is instead of making potions, you can go ahead and dye your leather armor, which is pretty straightforward. If I grab myself a leather cap, I can go ahead and dye it blue, and voila, check it out, guys. I got a lovely light blue leather cap 
to go ahead and match my all blue outfit. But what I didn't know is you could dye leather horse armor. According to that hack, it was a thing. So let's grab ourselves some different leather horse armor. And we're about to see whether or not that video is telling the truth or whether it's just clickbait. Moment of truth in three, two, one, and yo, look at that, guys. That's white leather horse armor. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to dye other ones. Red, blue, green, and... <laughs> All right, bang, 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 bang. Please eat, please love me. There we go. All right, we got this side. Let's chuck the armor on and... Yo, look at that, guys. We got white horse armor here. All right, we'll chuck that off. We'll try the red. That looks really nice with the brown there, guys. Okay, we got the blue, the lime, and pink. It works. It's legit, guys. This is so cool. Okay. All right. We got another belt. What are we building here? Okay. Obsidian, some redstone. Ooh, redstone belt. Slime blocks. Okay. We're getting fancy up in here. What are they building, though, guys? I really... I, I, I don't understand. They're covering it up. Okay. What, what good is that, guys? Uh, I, I'm really confused. Iron trapdoor and an armor... St okay. Well, the armor stand's falling down in the hole. What are we going to do now? And he put in gold... Wait. Wait. Did those armor stands just switch? Guys, did I see that correctly? Wait. Diamond and then gold... Yo, you can, it's like a magical armor set swapper. We need to try this. They used obsidian and then redstone, I think redstone torches and redstone dust as well. And a slime block and a sticky piston. I think that's what happened there, guys. And then, okay, they built a three by three square. I know that. And it was one, two, three, was it four deep? I think it was four deep here, guys. Okay, yeah, we're going to go four. If this doesn't work, we can go five. Okay, I double-checked the video. It's actually five blocks deep, guys. Not four, so ignore me. We're going to go one layer down here, guys. And then what they did is put the sticky piston in the center. Then off to the corner, we had an obsidian block. I think it was redstone at the front. One redstone dust here. Then we had another obsidian block here. Redstone, torch, and then some redstone dust. It looks something like that. And then they had the, had the slime block there. And then what? They just used oak wood, and they covered it up like so. But they had an iron trap door and a button, I think it was. All right, let's grab that. And what? So they covered all this around like so. Bang. Put the iron trap door in the center and the button at the front. I mean, that opens the trap door. Does that do anything down there? Oh, guys, look. When you click the button, it also brings the slime block up. That must be what allows the armor stands to swap. Okay, so now we've got to grab ourselves some armor stands and see, well, whether or not this is actually legit here, guys. So we'll put one armor stand here and it should... Drop straight down, perfect, just like in the video. And, okay, <laughs> I placed that in the wrong spot, no! Okay, we'll put that there. And then what? Would they just put, like, different types of armor on? So we'll go ahead, I'll put uh, diamond armor on our guy just here. Bang! Hit the button and... It switches the armor stands out, which means one of our uh, armor stands could actually have netherite armor. Just on like so. Oh, and hit the button and boom! Diamond armor, and then hit it again, and suddenly I have netherite armor. Isn't that awesome, guys? I can just switch it out. You can have a ton of these guys and just have an automatic armor swap. Okay, that is so cool. And it says space, and plus on top of that, guys, you go ahead and decorate this however you like, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that it, you don't have to decorate. They use, like, stone or something in theirs, but you could literally decorate this what, with whatever you want, and it would still look good. Have a look at that, guys. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh I broke it. I broke. I broke it, guys. Okay, don't place a block above your armor stand. Some professional advice here or... Oh, well, all that happened. <laughs> that happened? Oh, no. Okay, can someone tell me why this video went viral? What is it? Two stone walls? No, three stone walls. <laughs> yes, three stone walls went viral. No, we're doing something now. We've got a chest, a stone slab, a turtle egg. Am I seeing things correctly? A grindstone? What the mutt? Bell chain. What is this? This is a random selection of blocks. And now we're eating out the cake. Oh, I'm so confused. What even is this? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Did he just climb straight up those blocks? What is that? What in the world has been built here? Yo, that's the same staircase, but like 10 times as big. No, this can't work. Surely not. What? He just got vroom straight up. Who knew you were supposed to make your staircase out of those blocks? What? even is life anymore guys why am i still playing minecraft how in the world did this go viral we need to use a chest with a slab a turtle leg above it then we got to crouch and place a grindstone above this chest but it's got to be like sideways so you need to go from this angle place it sideways then we need a bell hanging off the side of that stone block we need a chain coming in from the left block then we need a trap door above the bell turn that on and finally guys a cake on the left here and you got to eat out one two three four five blocks i think out of the cake all right, let's give this a go. All right, I'm switching it to survival. Let's climb it up. You've got to be kidding me. You've got... That actually works. Once you get it, boom! 
You see, if you get the angle right, it is just insanely quick. You gotta be like slightly diagonal and you just go vroom. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, don't use stairs anymore, apparently. Now this little video here is made by a YouTuber named Spectator who claims that apparently they have the secret machine to break the sky border and send you flying past it. I'm not gonna believe that till I see it for myself, you guys, but what are we doing? We're building another quick redstone clock here and they're attaching it up to this piston. Apparently the piston movement must create a lot of game-breaking, broken Minecraft glitches and tricks here. They're putting tons of ender crystals down so that all those end crystals... Wow, what is that mutant from planet another? I'm so confused. Okay, so you stand in the center of this thing, guys, and what's supposed to happen here? Oh my goodness, look at those cool... 3,000 blocks in the sky? Now, when I woke up this morning, guys, I can't say I was planted on, you know, flying to the moon, but we're about to give it a go. There we go. Okay, we got the piston moving back and forward. We put the obsidian down there. Place the end crystals on this obsidian here, guys. Okay, and that pushes them out just like in that video. Okay, and what? He just basically spammed them. I think they sped up the video here, guys, to make this go a lot faster. Oh, not to mention, guys, you know why you're here? Can you leave a like with your top tooth? Because I gotta reckon that none of you are able to do that. I just, just kind of want to know, guys. If you're able to do that, let me know in the comments down below. But that's enough chit-chat. I think Mr. Horse is inspecting it. What do you think, Mr. Horse? Mr. Horse does not care. Why am I not surprised? We got a machine and a half. There's our monstrosity. Let's go ahead and turn on our coordinates so we can see just how high we go. We're currently on Y64. Let's go ahead and he just punched this thing. Okay. Oh! Holy moly! Look at my coordinates right now, guys. 1,600. We didn't get quite as high as he did in the video, but I think that's because they might have used more end crystals. But boy, oh boy, does that work. Okay, am I ever going to hit the ground? Can somebody save me? Anybody? Help me! Please! Now, who made this video? Oh my gosh, it's me! I'm clickbait fact-checking myself, guys. All right, let's see. Did I make this video clickbait? We're gonna test it out. So with this one, I think I made a circle by putting a ton of minecarts out and glitching it out. Yes, yeah. did a ton of minecarts. You cover it up with honey, and I think it, like, sticks the minecarts, and you're able to make a circle. Yeah, look at that, guys. Circle of Minecraft. The question is, is did I clickbait all of you? We'll find out. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it would be very, very embarrassing if this doesn't work, guys, and it turns out that my own video was clickbait, because I made this, and it worked when I did it. So we're about to see, guys, whether or not I was telling the truth or not, or, well, whether my video went out of date. We're about to find out here, guys. So we're just gonna put a ton of minecarts while I am doing this, guys. That video actually came from my brand new YouTube channel, EY Shorts, where I'm posting daily short videos, guys. You can subscribe to that, or if you don't want to do that, there is my TikTok, where I'm also posting daily videos. There's different videos on both tons of awesome content you guys should check out so go see those guys but anyway i think that should be enough minecarts here guys let's go ahead we need to destroy that rail bring the honey around and now all we need to do is like stand in the middle all right here we go stand in the center and look at that no clickbait we have ourselves a circle in minecraft i already knew that was going to work out i made the video i didn't clickbait next i want that epic elytra launcher except they didn't show us how to build it so i watched the video like 20 times over and i think i figured it out it might not be exactly the same but it should still work so first off guys we're going to build a platform for our elytra launcher obviously the higher the better i think four by three should cut it you can use any block you like now it needs to be a small space of water so we're going to use cobblestone walls here a stone actually do we use i think we'll use a stone block at the back Again, guys, I still don't know if this is going to work. Then we're going to chuck smooth stone on top of those as well as on top of the walls. We're going to place a sign here on the left and on the side of this. You're going to need to crouch and while crouching, click on the side of this sign so it comes out like so. That's going to block our water. We'll place in our two water, obviously, for our boats. Now we just need a ton of boats. So I think the quickest way to do this will be to have a dispenser facing inwards. Then we'll go ahead, crouch. While crouching, place a hopper on top of your dispenser. Then crouch again and place down two chests. Yes, my chests look like Christmas presents right now. Guys, it was just Christmas, and for some reason, all my chests are still Christmas gifts. I don't know what's going on. But now we're going to need to chuck in an absolute ton of boats. Now, I could, you know, get these from Creative or craft them, but I'm way too lazy for that, guys. So let's go ahead and just grab those using commands, and we're just going to spam an absolute ton here into the chest. Um, Obviously, the more, the merrier. You want to kind of fill up this double chest as much as you can. But, you know, that half full, I think, should do it. I believe entity cramming is at that level, guys. All right, we're really testing my Minecraft logic here. Then... Crouch again, place a lever on top of the hopper, and just literally spam that lever as fast as you can right there, guys. Because there are so many entities in the area, it pushes you forward. All right, um, how much is enough? Okay, I think we've used up all of our boats there. Let's go ahead, destroy all of that. 
Now what we need to do is we need to lock that in place. So we're going to place a piston facing in that direction. Activate that. Boom, we can destroy that. Then we're going to build up to... Oh, we got a weird glitch block there. Now make sure do not touch these boats because they're going to explode everywhere. Otherwise, we still need to lock them into place. So you're going to have a piston facing downwards. And then underneath that, you're going to need a glass pane. And you just want to go ahead and activate that. Boom. But it's not completely locked in just yet. Grab your other two glass panes. We're going to place one on the left and one on the right. Then you're going to grab your blocks again. We're going to build up one, two, three, four. And just for looks, this isn't really for any particular reason. We're going to place glass on the sides here. Obviously, you can use whatever block you like. But glass at least lets you see where you're going. Then, guys, the final touch. We're going to need three smooth stone slabs on the front here. I think this will guide your flying pattern out straight so you don't, you know, launch yourself just straight into the sky. All right. I think this will work. Let's put our elytra on. We're going to switch into survival mode. The moment of truth does my machine work and down we go uh this is a this was a mega fail oh wait i know wait wait let's destroy this bottom boat and then okay that should work all i need to do now is go ahead and activate my elytra okay i think this should work it's not a fail yet at least i hope not i think i just need a spam jump as i go down the tube all right down we go and go oh <laughs> yo I literally just broke Minecraft physics. That is so dope. Look at how far I've gone. Imagine traveling around your world like this. You have to build one of these in your world. An Among Us banner hidden in Minecraft. <laughs> There's no way this is real. Okay, how is he doing this? We had a red banner, some sort of pattern to give black spikes on the side. We cut off the top. Okay, he's doing this really quickly. Then we're cutting off the bottom here with red dye. We're putting it straight back in again. Wow, this is complicated. Then we're adding little curly things to the bottom, little spikes. Um, okay, that looked like a Pac-Man ghost right there. What exactly are we doing? Black outline and then a blue circle. Wait. Oh my goodness. That's us. <laughs> Who knew that Minecraft was hiding an Among Us character inside of Minecraft? Okay, we gotta see if this is real. So first the red banner. Now, I was trying around with different patterns and I figured out he actually used the Bordeaux indented banner pattern, which you can get from chests in survival or in the creative inventory. We're gonna combine this with the black die here. That's gonna give us these little spikes. We'll make one of those. We can take that out. Now we needed to cut off the top half. Not that much. I think it's only the top. Okay, yeah. So we use this top third. We cut off with black. That's the same. Then we need the red dye and we're going to cut off the... No, not the bottom third. Okay, no. We need to cut off the entire bottom half here with red. I'm just trying to figure this out as we go. Then he used little spikes on the bottom. So these ones here uh, with the black dye. Put that back in. Now we needed a black outline. So we'll add that. And then finally, guys, to top it off with our blue dye, we're going to add a circle in the middle. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bob. Ba -da -dum. Dum -dum. <laughs> Guys, that's red sus right there. I can't believe that is actually hidden in Minecraft. Minecraft hay bales can be placed in your horse pen for decoration. While collecting wheat, you can save inventory by turning wheat that's into hay bales. That's actually big brain. Campfire <laughs> smoke rises 15 blocks higher when Wait, on top of the hay bale. Wait, that is such a cool trick. How did I forget that? Hay bales damage by 80%. Of hay course. Hay bales break faster when using a hoe. Wait, a Did hoe? you know that? Basically, if we place down a campfire here, guys, we're getting these really nice smoke particles coming out of the grain. And these are fantastic for decoration. I use them all the time because you can place them underneath a single block and then you get these cool smoke effects coming out of the ground. Now, obviously, the biggest downside to this is they kind of stop there. But apparently, by using a hay bale, it's going to go 15 blocks higher than that. I just want to get an idea of how much higher that really is. So we place down a hay bale, put our campfire down, and let's see whether this is real. Up goes the smoke. Moment of truth. Here we go, guys. And yo. Check it out. It's not fading away, guys. It's still going higher and higher up into the sky. All right, when is it going to stop? Like, legit. Wet. How high is 15 blocks? Yo, look at how insane that is. That's underneath the ground. That's above the ground. And that's with the hay bale. That is so dope. Or even you could use this as, like, a way to get back home or a smoke signal. Because, I mean, you can see that thing for ages away. Whereas that one can easily be blocked by trees. And this one, you know, you can see over everything. So, we're going to switch into survival mode here, guys. I've got myself a netherite axe. Supposedly the best axe you can get. Let's see how long it takes to mine up these hay bales, all right? One, two... Three, four. All right, four seconds to get three of those hay bales. Let's try with a wooden hoe. Literally the trashiest hoe ever. All right, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three. Not even three seconds. Like two and a half seconds compared to four. Are you kidding me? You're telling me that this, this, this little wooden stick is better than that netherite axe. Wait, okay. Let's compare this to the netherite hoe. All right, let's see. We dig up three. All right, one, two. Oh, my God. Oh, bro. Everyone thinks netherite hoes are useless, but I'm, t I'm here to tell you today, guys, you need to make a netherite hoe. Bro, that is OP. All right, what do we have a bunch of end portals for? We're putting fire charges in the dispensers? Why here, guys? We've set up a redstone clock and... Wait, holy mo... What? 
fire charges can go through end portals? I had no idea. What? So fire charges can go through... I think I knew that arrows could go through. If that fires through, but will that appear on the other side? What? So it's not a myth. Entities can pass through portals, not just players here, guys. Wait, we can even put TNT through it? Okay, that is awesome. I feel like I've seen this before, but I definitely didn't know about the fire charges. And the TNT still stays lit. It just looks like there's infinite TNT appearing out of nowhere. Wait a minute. We can send fireworks through an end portal from underneath it? But it's like invisible underneath it. But they're not going through. There's no way that works. Yo. What? There's just like this fireworks and TNT coming out of nowhere. Okay, I need to know whether this actually works or whether this is just a bunch of fake commands being used to make this work. End portal construction is a go. All right, around we go. Bum, bum, bing, boom, bum, ba -do bum, bum, ba -do bum, bum. All right, we got ourselves this beautiful end portal here. Now we need a system going on up here. First off, we'll try our fire charges here. Bang, boom, and bop. Okay, so we got that system set up. So let's grab ourselves a just a block here. We don't need our eye vendors anymore. Um, and then build that out. We want our redstone dust coming all the way around through here. And this needs to connect onto a redstone clock. All right, boom, forward, backwards, connect that up. And now we just need to set that off. Okay, bang. I stopped it up. Guys, the redstone's supposed to be here. Okay, redstone clock. Boom. Oh my goodness, guys. This is just breaking my ears. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. But it's firing all of those through. And if we actually break underneath, are they going through? Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, they're literally setting fire below the end portal here. But if we go through, they're also setting fire through here? What? They set fire here and in the overworld? Huh? We just confirmed a myth that I didn't even plan to confirm is that when you send entities through here, it can seriously glitch out. And in this case, it even duped our fire charges, sending some of them through the end and some of them out here. That is just wild, guys. All right, now let's go ahead and we'll break all of those. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of, that is a lot of fire charges. <laughs> and now we're going to try our arrows here, guys. Okay, bang. And we need to, okay, how do we do that? Boom. There we go. Okay, we're firing three arrows in a one. So let's jump in. See if that's what, oh my goodness. What was that glitch? Huh? Wait, what? Guys, they're not coming through. Are you kidding me? Why aren't they coming? Did I do something wrong? Okay, I definitely did do something wrong. Breaking these blocks under the end portal does seem to stop them from actually teleporting through. So I've got to keep those blocks there. And now if I jump in... Boom, there we go. In come our arrows. But what's really weird to you guys is that... Look, if I pick those up, they all come in on the center there, which is just so strange. This whole thing is a little bit glitchy, guys. It does not work as smooth as it did in the video, but it does, in fact, work just only half the time. So it's a half myth. So let's go ahead, set off the redstone here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it didn't blow up. Okay, that's okay. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is such a pain. And there we have it, guys. Look at the TNT going into the end portal. You know that this is legit because otherwise this entire landscape would be absolutely destroyed now. Poor Ender Dragon, man. The Ender Dragon's got to be having it tough right now. Oh my goodness, in comes the tear. Are you guys ready for this? Holy flip! <laughs> it's really weird, guys. Once I teleport in here, it stops bringing the items through. It's like a delayed lag. Maybe it's just because my PC can't handle it. I don't know. And finally, our firework. Now, in the latest 1.17 update, they've actually updated the end portal so you can now see underneath them. As you saw in the video, it was invisible, but now we can see underneath them, so I kind of see this could work. Okay, let's go ahead and activate that. Come on. There we go. We've got our repeating stuff. The fireworks are going in. You can see they are definitely not coming out the top here, so they must be getting sucked into the end portal. Let's check this out. Hey, there's our TNT and our fireworks. Oh, my goodness. There it goes again. But then it stops. In the video, it just kept going. Maybe this is another thing in the 1.17 update. It doesn't work the same way anymore. It only loads, and then it just stops loading them. I don't know. So apparently, this here is a glitch to get infinite TNT. What is this machine? What is this thing? And then you hit the lever? What's going on? Wait, guys, look! There was only one block of TNT and somehow it's dropping multiple blocks of TNT. Where did they come from? The TNT dimension? I guess it works. Or at least I hope it works because my mind here needs a little bit of help. No, wait, no, they had the sticky piston one and then they did like a little L shape. They put the lever up here. And then what? There was the fence block, I think it was. And the slime came to the left. One, two. They put the coral there, which still boggles my mind. Then a piece of TNT, the detector rail, and the mine cart like that. And what? They just hit this lever here? Okay, that, that didn't do anything. Try again. That still didn't do anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, look at that. Here's one TNT. There's two with TNT. I put one TNT. I think it works. Wait, so I just got to rapid click the sleeve Yo, look at that, guys. 
guys, I just hit the lever over and over again. And check that out, guys. Look at all the TNT I'm making. I'm never going to have to kill another creeper again. I can just keep running away from them because now I've got infinite TNT. Drowned are rarely ever seen out of yeah, the water. Yeah, because they're ocean mobs. most players don't know this. Okay, but no what? Drowned are the only mob in the game whose hostility is time-based. Wait, When what? out of the water, drowned are completely peaceful during the day. No, that can't be true. Drowned are just water zombies. And let me tell you, zombies still come and attack you during the day. They are not peaceful whatsoever. And you expect me to believe that suddenly, because this guy's been in a little bit of water, he's not going to attack me. He's literally holding a trident here. Okay, well, this is a little awkward. Maybe I should test this under a, a cover here. Here so they don't burn to death, guys. Uh, let's uh, build this out. Okay, I'm so sorry, Mr. Drowned. This is a hard thing to test because the minute Drowned, you know, get out of the water during the day, they start burning. All right, so there he is. He's under some cover. He, and he left the... You are dumb. You are really, you are really, really dumb. Okay, let's spawn in another one here, guys. We're going to switch into survival mode. All right, attack me. He's just walking away. What? No, surely not. Bro, I'm literally right here. Hello? What if I hit him? I'm literally hit him and he doesn't care. He literally can't attack me. I'm literally touching him and he's not even setting me on fire. What? Bro, I can't believe it. Drowned are actually neutral. They won't attack you during the day while they're on land. If you tame three or more cats and you go to okay. sleep, those cats will bounce on your bed oh, before sleeping oh, while you fight that's You can actually get oh. infinite splash potions in Minecraft. It Excuse me. Two regular what? potions into a cauldron and then one shorter splash potion, and then you collect the potion out of a cauldron using a regular glass bottle. Okay. You'll for some reason get a bunch of splash potions. You can no place the way. weirdest things on top of candles. You place down a cauldron, you grab the potion you want. Now, the one they were using in the video was Potion of Night Vision, so we're going to test with that first. And then went one and two, but with the final uh, cauldron spot here, they used a splash potion rather than the normal potion variant. So let's give it a go. Bang. All right, we filled it up to the top. Now we're going to switch into survival mode because that's what matters, guys. Otherwise, you're just creative, you may as well get them out of the creative inventory. Let's go ahead and test this. All right, so we'll get all this stuff out of the inventory. Bang, there's nothing else. All we've got is our glass bottles. Three, two, one, bang. Yo, check this out. I actually got a splash potion. And then we could go ahead and get splash potions all the way here, but you're probably going to want to fill this up. So what you could do is place a dripstone above this guy. So grab ourselves a dripstone and then grab ourselves a cauldron. We'll keep infinitely refilling up with potions. So if we go ahead and line that up, we can place our pointed dripstone here, coming down to our cauldron, put up the sides, fill that with water. And now this cauldron will infinitely fill up over and over again, meaning you'll get infinite splash potions. Do not show this to Dream. Why would he care about a bunch of plants with TNT? Wait, and he's breaking it? <gasps> Is this a trap? Yo, I'd never suspect that. <laughs> Bruh! Give me my diamonds, <laughs> you <boy. laughs> I'll kill you, Come on, come get them. You wouldn't. Give me my keys back, brother. Okay, any moment now, guys. Here we go, oh, and... Break it! Run, run, run! run. Yo! Oh, <laughs> Here's a scenario. You're trapped in a room with a bunch of zoglins and you have okay. to get to the treasure, which is over a five block lava jump. Do you uh -huh. A, use your bow, B, what? use the lava, use or bow? C, break some blocks? Bro, Choose break wisely. The wall. Use your pickaxe and dig out the wall. Wait, is that the wrong solution? Yo, he doesn't have a pickaxe, he only has a bow and lava. If you chose A, you were correct, as you could have used the bow's damage as knockback to get over the lava. Huh? How did he do that? Since when did shooting yourself in the head with an arrow? means saving your life. Basically, guys, I noticed that the bow had a few things on it. It had a punch two enchantment book, so we'll go ahead and enchant our bow with punch two, and then it also had an infinity enchantment, and that way we only need to use a single arrow, and we can try this as many times as we like. We got a lava pit over here. Now it's time to see whether we can actually make it over. So let's switch it to survival. We need to shoot the arrow up just like so. We don't charge it up very long, and jump. Ah, I did it! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. But basically, you gotta come here. You gotta aim not straight up, but slightly forward. Don't charge up the bow very much. Just charge it up for like a few seconds, let it drop, and then jump into the arrow so you get hit by the arrow, all right? It's, it's a little bit tricky, and it's pretty easy to stuff up here, guys, but you look straight forward, shoot it up, and then jump into the arrow. Ah, just like that, and the extra damage will launch you across the lava. It actually works. Thank you to all of these guys for making today's video possible. You're my new favorite EY Mega fans. If you want a shout out, just click the join button below this video. Scroll down and click EY Mega Fan.